Good morning, my friends from the beautiful Oaxaca city. Uh, we are bright and early, 8 a.m. walking to breakfast uh, because I actually have a bike tour today that I am going to take you all on with me. And also you're about to see how many locks I have to get through to get outside in this uh, Airbnb, which is good. It is very secure. Uh, but yes, in order to quell my despair over not being in Mexico City this weekend for Pride, um, I have signed myself up for a bike tour today and tomorrow I have signed myself up for a, um, a bigger tour of this petrified waterfall about an hour from the city. So, uh, I'm thinking about putting today and tomorrow into one vlog so we can have like a little adventure vlog. Uh, but for now, let's go get breakfast. Guys, I'm walking to breakfast and I literally think there's like a practicing flash mob. <laughs> and as a highly sensitive person, I'm very scared to approach. <laughs> but this is the way to breakfast. Let me show you. Do you hear the music? Got my bike and we're heading to the Tree El Tool. So stay tuned. Not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film the bike ride, but let's let's go. So we're at the Tree de Tulle. Our guide Ivan says this is not the tallest tree in the world, but it is the widest tree in the world. So it's almost so wide, it's hard to capture on camera, but it is so, it is just really cool. Okay, I'm gonna show you another angle. And what that means to us, you know, to our history, as you know, history has been here before everything we know in our history, at least of the history of this area before um, the arrival of the Spanish. This happened in the 15th century in this continent, but in this town or in this area, they arrived later in the 18th century. But even then, the tree was already here. But the tree, which actually is an our weapon, is named after this specific is named after the community, Santa Maria del Tule. So Ivan told us that this tree was alive and thriving far before the Spanish ever came to Mexico. 
but in the 18th century when the Spanish came to Santa Maria and built this church they strategically built it next to this tree because they were trying to convert the indigenous people over to their religion right and they built the church next to the tree which was viewed as sacred which I think is kind of cool I think that Justin Timberlake is from Nashville. I, I have no like, idea. I've been in Tennessee. Yeah. So I feel like that surprised yeah. me. Well, I didn't... Jennifer Lawrence is from Louisville. She is, yeah. Yeah. Boring, but there's a oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The good time for going to the restroom if you kind of feel like you want to go because after. We just finished lunch. We're biking back to Oaxaca. Hey y'all, we're back in Oaxaca City after the bike tour. It was awesome to see the tree. I liked that tour because it was like the perfect amount of time. Uh, wasn't too long. Although I think uh, walking to the takeoff location was 30 minutes. And now I'm walking back home. So it's been about an hour of walking total and then about two hours of bike riding total. So it's been quite the uh, day of physical exertion and uh, which is actually kind of good. It feels good to exercise a little bit. Uh, peep the church behind me. Just taking a little bit of a break and I'm not sure what else is happening today so i'll keep you guys updated if anything exciting happens actually this is something exciting <laughs> this is my airbnb host chubi or chewbacca He's pretty cute. Say hola, Chubby. Chubby. Chubby, what you doing? What you doing? Are you cute? Making <laughs> a video? Yeah, I'm going to take a video of you pouring this in here. Can I do? Okay. <laughs> there we go. In yellow, in yellow. friends it is the next day now uh, you just saw a clip of last night I went to dinner at this Indian restaurant that I highly recommend I know most people don't come to Oaxaca to eat Indian food but if you're traveling and you're a little bit sick of Mexican food not that I'm sick of it but you know just get it get a little change of pace. Um, I actually went to this Indian place twice because I uh, liked it so much and the owners are super nice and I already had been there once. So last night when I walked in, they recognized me and the uh, owner was like, oh, let me make you a special drink. So you saw him making me some kind of mezcal concoction um, and yeah, they're just super nice. If you're solo traveling and getting a little bit lonesome or sick of eating by yourself, um, they'll like go sit in there and they'll like talk your ear off. So yeah, great, great place in Oaxaca. Secret gem, hidden gem. Uh, I'll put the name of the restaurant somewhere down here. And uh, today we are, I don't know why I keep saying we, I just feel like I'm taking you along with me. Uh, we are going to the Petrified Waterfall, about an hour away from Oaxaca. Not sure how to pronounce it yet, but I'll put the Spanish name below. I've been up since 6.15. It is 7.30. The tour people are picking me up at 8 a.m. and we'll be on our way to the waterfall, so 
can't wait to take y'all on the adventure with me and I finally get a chance to put on my hiking shoes today since we will be doing a little hiking. Apparently there's a swimming pool in the waterfall or some something like that. And let's just keep our fingers crossed. It doesn't rain today. Oh, one more thing. Can I just say, the moon is in Taurus and even though the moon is exalted in Taurus, I just always, I, I just always do not, do not look forward to the moon in Taurus anymore. I at least don't. Because the thing about the moon in Taurus is that first, it always it will conjunct Uranus, because Uranus is in Taurus. And then it'll do something with the nodes, which are in Scorpio Taurus. And then it'll square Saturn. So I speak to that right now because <laughs> the moon is square Saturn. Uh, but luckily, right as we leave at 8 a.m., the transit will start to uh, separate. But I just need to complain about moon and Taurus transits at this current time. That's it. Okay, bye! Yeah, nice. We're almost at the water, just not sure how we're getting up. There, let's find out.
We're just chilling in the sun right now, drying off. I'm probably getting toasted because I have no sunscreen on. But soon we're gonna finish our day with, I think a tour of some kind of like textile market and then a mezcal tasting because all things in Oaxaca have to end with a mezcal tasting. So stay tuned. At the Airbnb, uh, the tour of the waterfall and the hike was absolutely amazing today. So glad that I took the leap and did that. And I feel very cleansed for the upcoming Cancer new moon, having bathed in natural mineral waters. And I was so hungry after my tour guide dropped me back off at the Airbnb that you just saw what I had for like late lunch, early dinner. And that restaurant is really, really good. But both times I've been there, that was the second time. Uh, as you can see, I go back to places if I think they're really good. Um, both times I was there, I was like ravenous, starving, like scarfing down everything so i think that restaurant thinks i eat like an animal <laughs> no <laughs> um but that's about it and i think i'm gonna end this oaxaca adventure vlog here because for the rest of the night i'll just be prepping for my tarot class which starts tomorrow and hoping that chewbacca comes into my room <laughs> and I think the next time y'all y'all will see me, I will be back in Mexico City, which I'm super happy about. So uh, thanks for watching my Oaxaca outdoor adventures and like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed this travel vlog.